Hi there, I'm Whit Prouty. I'm with Coldwell Banker in Beverly Hills, and this is our second video of two for Proposition 60 and 90 in Los Angeles County. So, if you remember from the first video, I've got three questions for you. Do you live in California and own your own home? Are you or your spouse 55 years or older? And would you like to move your current property tax rate to a new home? If you answered yes to all three of those questions, Proposition 60 and 90 are something that you should know about. So let's talk about eligibility requirements. First off, the replacement property must be your primary residence and eligible for homeowner's exemption or the disabled veteran's exemption. Second, the replacement property must be of equal or lesser value than the original property. Third, the replacement property must be purchased within two years before or after the sale of the original property. Fourth, the original property must have been eligible for the homeowner's or the disabled veteran's exemption. And finally, you or your spouse residing with you must have been 55 years or older when the original property was sold. Now, let's talk about some frequently asked questions. What's the difference between Proposition 60 and Proposition 90? Answer, Proposition 60 relates to transfers within the same county or intra-county. Proposition 90 relates to transfers of base value from one county to another participating county in California or intra-county. What's the Proposition's 6090 filing deadline? A claim must be filed within three years of purchasing or completing new construction of the replacement property. If a claim is filed after the three-year period, relief will be granted beginning with the calendar year in which the claim was filed. My original home is located outside Los Angeles County, but my replacement home is in Los Angeles County. Do I qualify for relief? The answer is yes. What does equal or lesser value of replacement property mean? This is a multi-step answer. The meaning of equal or lesser value depends on when you purchase the replacement property. In general, equal or lesser value means 100% or less of the market value of the original property if a replacement property was purchased or newly constructed before the sale of the original property, or 105% or less of the market value of the original property if a replacement property was purchased or newly constructed within the first year after the sale of the original property, or 110% or less of the market value of the original property if a replacement property was purchased or newly constructed within the second year after the sale of the original property, or when making the equal or lesser value test, the market value of a property is not necessarily the same as the sale or purchase price. The assessor will determine the market value of each property. In some new developments, the indicated sales price does not include upgrades paid for outside of escrow. The assessor must consider the value of these upgrades when determining the market value of the property. If the market value of your replacement dwelling exceeds the equal or lesser value test, no relief is available. It is all or nothing, no partial benefits granted. That concludes our frequently asked questions. If you have other questions that I haven't answered, feel free to reach out to me via email or give me a call, send me a letter, whatever. I'll be happy to answer your questions. I'm Whit Prouty. I'm a residential realtor with Coldwell Banker in Beverly Hills. Thanks for joining me.